Let's do this. As I thought, two wraps of saran wrap was able to disable the 1911. However, one, it operated right through it. So that's actually quite impressive. Okay, for the final test, we're gonna see if the giant gummy bear can stop the 45. If you watch Tal Flatermouse, you know that this has stopped many of his bullets, including 45s and 50s and 60s and 70s, maybe even some 80s. We have to substantiate and verify his scientific results. I think the 45 ACP will go right through it. So let's give it a try here. Let's round a zine to a clip a zine chamber. Tap, bang, rack. Sorry, it had to come to this. Nerd check, nerd check, nerd check. As you can see, there's a major facial wound to our gummy bear. Let's see the back. Hey, well, it went right through. Yeah, myth busted. Tough later, Matt. He has a trick gummy bear. I think he's uh, doctoring the results. Well, I can't even tell if it went through here, but it probably did. It had, it's a 45. Obviously, it went through. It has stopping power. So I want to thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned. We're going to do some brand new tests with this gun, as well as redo some old classics that we've put the other guns through. Uh, thanks for watching. That is Matt B2099's complete 1911 review. Yo dudes, if you made it this far, please feel free to tell me what you thought of the video in the form of a comment. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see, what you liked or disliked about the video. Go ahead and hit that like or dislike. That helps me too. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And I have a second channel named Matthew James Beast. Thanks for watching. Matt B out. Now if you manufacture this shotgun and then put it to your shoulder, that's a short barrel shotgun. In this configuration, it's a brace with a bullet and a bullet in it. But if you were to shoulder this with the bullet in it, that's an NFA item. That's one of those uh, any other destructive short barrel devices. This is my Glock 40. This is my problem solver right here. Alright, what's up my TMP dudes? This is Matt V2099 and we have uh, been fortunate enough to be blessed with a new firearm for the Matt V2099 project. I was at the gun shop.